My wife and I just came back from three weeks in Europe using this suitcase. Did it live up to the hype? Is it worth the price? Could it take a beating? I'll answer all those questions in our Aerotrunk Pangolin carry-on review. With this suitcase, Aerotrunk's trying to make a well-priced, compact, and convenient luggage for digital nomads and travelers who may or may not have a laptop with it. Some of the key features, 48 liter capacity, 8.5 pounds weight, durable Macrolon polycarbonate materials, a front compartment, <laughs> for quick access, two inches of expansion, and a 100 day trial plus a one year warranty. So we got this thing and my wife and I were taking a holiday. We're like, let's take it with us. We did Italy, Serbia, Croatia, and France in about two weeks. And as you can see, this thing took a bit of a beating, right? All luggage does. No suitcase is gonna go through that many taxis, buses, planes, and trains and come through unscathed. But you can see actually the suitcase did quite well, all things considered. Minus one thing, which I'm almost there. And for all this, the Pangolin carry-on runs around 180 USD to 280 USD, depending if there's any specials. Right now, it's $189.95. And if at any point in this review, you're thinking to yourself, that's one durable suitcase. I wanna bring it to Italy, Croatia, France, Serbia, or wherever else you went to. You totally should, except for Serbia. That place was a little sketchy. But if at any point you are gonna make a purchase of the suitcase, we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description. The reason being, that link makes sure that you get the best price, and it also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate. Thank you. Right, let's talk about the outside of the Aerotrunk Pangolin carry-on. First up, the material. I mean, you know, this is not like the world's most premium suitcase. I think it actually comes in at a pretty decent cost. This thing took a beating. Budget airlines, budget buses, budget trains. We were on a budget this trip, if you couldn't tell. Let's start with the handles. Really nice grip, nice extension, easy to carry this way and this way. And I know because every cobble street or staircase that my wife and I uh, ran into required me to carry this because it was her suitcase. I had my own, so it was double suitcase in it. And these handles worked quite well. Even though she yelled at me, I'd be like, this thing, we packed it out and it was really heavy. It'll make it. And it made it every single time. The handle is great too. It's one, two, three, Four stages, super simple to open all the way. The wheels were super smooth, no problems. And we have a TSA approved locking system. Well, let's talk about the biggest feature of this suitcase, in my opinion, which is this front compartment. Because not a lot of suitcases have this, which is why we're naming this one of our favorite suitcases for digital nomads. It's a great budget option. Because for me, a laptop warrior, and my wife, she had to get some work done on the trip. We could pop our laptop in there, no problem, and access it super quickly. And this compartment is suited for 15 inch laptops or smaller. So as you can see, my 13 inch fits Nice and snug, no problemo. Now we do have some other organization here. We've got some pockets on either side. And yet again, because of you know the build of this compartment, I would recommend putting all quick access stuff in there. Headphones, notebook, wires, battery, whatever things you want the quickest access to, that's what you're gonna put here. But one note, it's a good thing this suitcase does have that one year warranty because we did get a zipper breakage right at the end of the trip. Now listen, I've reviewed hundreds of bags, zipper breaks happen. Usually gonna happen quickly because it's probably a faulty zipper. If the zipper's good, it'll last the test of time. This one failed on us and it let us know very fast, which is good because with the one year warranty, you can then claim that and hopefully Aerotrunk will send you a new zipper. I'll be sure to get their thoughts on the zipper in the comments below and see what they have to say. Let's talk about the inside of the Aerotrunk Pangolin carry-on. Actually, before we do, remember there's two inches of expansion that's actually on the inside, but you can see it from the outside. It doesn't say what the expansion is pre and post, but it's a 48 liter suitcase. So I assume that is when the suitcase is fully expanded. And then you can see when we're inside. And I gotta say, I love the inside of this suitcase. I've got about five or six suitcases that I've reviewed on this channel. And this one's my favorite in terms of the organization and the materials that are being used. On this side, we have the compression straps, a compartment right here. And then underneath it is where you're gonna put your clothes, right? The compression straps are great because you can put your clothes underneath and then just really tighten them into place, allowing you to fit more stuff. But I'm really, really in love with these materials. Smooth to the touch. I love the creamy color. Helps to kind of create a highlight effect within the suitcase. Makes it easier to find your stuff. We've got enough organization just to kind of make this thing awesome and fun. Switching over to the other side, we've got a few more compartments. You can see right here we have this entire panel. Good for even more clothes. My wife and I put a lot of tech stuff in here because you don't want to compress the tech stuff since it's fragile. So clothes there, tech stuff here, good to go. And then some more organization here as well. Same nice mesh material. Mesh is great too because it's see-through. So we had a lot of smaller tidbits of gear in here and the mesh made it easier to find. Overall, love the organization of this. And to be honest, I, I was like shocked to find that it was 48 liters because it feels very well organized and it just doesn't feel like it's an almost 50 liter suitcase. It's nice, it's tight, it's tidy. Let's talk about the overall pros and the cons of the Aero Trunk Pangolin carry on. Pro number one, comes in at a great price point. Pro number two, super smooth wheels. And pro number three, highly durable. Except on the cons, we did have one zipper break. Granted, 
the warranty will cover that. And con number two is that the laptop compartment can only fit up to a 15 inch. Because given the size, I definitely thought it could fit up to a 17 inch. And just remember, we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description. That link just makes sure that you get the best price and it also helps to support the Nomads Nation YouTube channel, which we greatly appreciate. But if you're not quite sold, I got a few alternative recommendations for suitcases that I think might better suit your needs. Alternative recommendation number one is gonna be the Nomadic Carry-On Pro. This was my suitcase on the trip. Much smaller, 28 liters, much more expensive at like 500 plus USD, but definitely a premium business-esque suitcase that I highly recommend. And to learn more about it, you can navigate down to the description below and you'll find links to our full review. And alternative recommendation number two is going to be the Level 8 suitcase. Also a carry-on. This is for you if you want something a bit more stylish. And some people really love this, the super wide trolley handle. Not my thing personally, but if it's your thing, take a look at the description below, and you'll find a link to our full review. And, and if you wanna see these three suitcases sort of compared and contrasted against each other, take a look at this video, our three favorite suitcases for digital nomads, where I sort of break everything down and you can easily find which one best suits your needs. Be sure to let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I personally answer every single one. My name's Aaron, this is Nomads Nation, and we'll catch you next time.